Hello, my name's Sarah Wombell and I'm the Senior Clinical Nurse Specialist for the Chronic Pain Services at Barking, Having and Redbridge University Hospitals NHS Trust. We're now going to talk about opioid reduction. The long-term use of opioids can cause side effects, risks and addiction, which you learned about in the previous presentation. If you're taking opioids but still have pain, they are not working and should be stopped. Reducing opioids has benefits, but it can be both mentally and physically difficult. You might be worried about reducing your medication, and you may worry that your pain will get worse. One of the questions patients ask is, what will I use as an alternative pain medication? So if you are taking opioids but still have severe pain, they are not working and should be stopped. Therefore, by reducing the opioid, you are not actually losing a painkiller. And opioids are likely to be making your pain worse. So by stopping the opioid, the pain you feel will be lowered. Another question you could ask, will I experience an increase in pain if I stop my opioids? If your opioids are reduced in a slow manner and by small amounts, you are less likely to experience an increase in pain. And this is why it is important to set an opioid reduction plan with your healthcare professional. An opioid reduction plan is an individual plan that you set with you and your healthcare professional to help you reduce your opioid medication. This will include an assessment of your pain, a review of your medications and previous treatments you have had, regular monitoring and support from your healthcare professional. And together you will work to reduce your dose. Will you experience withdrawal symptoms? Well this can depend on the dose, how long you've been taking the drug and your reduction plan. And you may not develop symptoms at all. But the most common withdrawal symptoms are muscle aches, increased pain, restlessness, anxiety, a runny nose or watery eyes, excessive sweating and nausea or vomiting. So it's important that you set a self-management plan to help you manage the possible withdrawal symptoms. You need to drink plenty of water and ensure you eat regular nutritious meals. You may want to use a mindfulness techniques and practice deep breathing. You could carry out simple stretching exercises or do something to relax, for example walking, listening to music or reading. You may want to try other distraction techniques such as doing jigsaws or colour therapy. And it's important that you communicate to your family and friends and especially talk to somebody who has an encouraging outlook. Use positive self-talk and tell yourself, I can do this, or this is only temporary. And you may want to discuss some of these techniques with your healthcare professional. Many patients report that as they reduce or stop the opioid medications, the side effects such as constipation, drowsiness, brain fog, sleepiness, and many other start to improve and they find that they are more confident in managing their long-term pain. If you have any questions about your reduction plan or setting a self-management plan, please speak to your clinical nurse specialist, your GP or your pharmacist. Thank you for listening.